channel my camera stopped moving welcome back to my channel um yeah so today's video is about body shapers and shapewear um i've seen like some murmurs about like what do you use or like you know just what what type of shapewear do you have um so in today's video that's what i wanted to go through with my shapewear collection and where i got my shapewear from i'm gonna try to put links in the bottom if i can I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to do that the way that I want to just yet. But anyways, um, yeah, let's get into the video. Before we do that, though, y'all already know, here comes the spiel. The spiel or the, or the spiel? It's the spiel. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video on my channel. Follow me on all forms of, uh, follow me on all forms of social media at Hannah Burnell W. Okay. And also, it's like construction going on outside my apartment. I feel like every time I get on here, I'm like, y'all, they doing something outside my apartment. But, like, they really are doing something outside of my apartment. And the wind is cutting up a little bit, too. It might rain today. I don't know. So, I just want to talk about my shapewear and body shapers. Um, two of the things I'm going to show you are examples. <laughs> because I will, I guess one is what it is and the other one could be. I don't know. But... I'm going to show y'all examples first, and then I'm going to go into the rest of the things that I have. So the first two things I wanted to show y'all, I would consider it to be shapewear, um, and those are compression tops. I don't wear a, lot, a whole lot of compression tops anymore, but I used to wear a ton of compression tops, especially when I was very, very, very thin. So the first compression top I'm going to show you, like, I'll wear this to the gym every once in a while. This is my Miss United States, um... Just like regular contestant wear or whatever it is a compression top this thing this i got i was like not even 130 back then i was like 125 this thing was so tight on me back then this one is a small i don't have I, like i can't tell you where to get this from but i can tell you about the material and what to look for so the material now is kind of like ribbed a little bit y'all can't see through that it's kind of like ribbed but it's definitely reinforced and it's reinforced in the middle of you can see it's kind of shiny or whatever this has amazing stretch i can still fit this small but now it just hurts more than it did when i was 135 or 130 or whatever um but this is this is a compression top compression tops for me i think are good to work out in they kind of hold you together they're good to run errands in kind of gives like skims feel i think that's the closest thing i can um because my lashes are always falling off my videos. That's the closest thing I can think about for, like, people who are not athletic or have maybe never, like, been on any team in high school. Um, is maybe Skims is good for that. Um, technically, Skims is shapewear. But that's what I would compare it to. It's just, just a compression top. It just sucks you in. They come in a whole bunch of different type of styles. You can get them tank tops. You can get them regular t-shirt styles, like... You know, but a compression top. I love compression tops, even though I don't wear these too as much as I should. It's really because my boobs are big now and they hurt my boobies. But um, compression tops are always, like, super cute to maintain a look when you're not trying to give a look. Does that make sense? Like I said, like, running errands and stuff. Like, I want to be cute casual. I'm going to throw a compression top on. If I have a top that will not, because I don't have any compression tops that are not seamless. Or don't have anything on it but if you're wearing something and you want to put a compression top on under it i think the skims brand is also a good brand for that it's just seamless so i guess look look, look for seamless tops if you want to put them under things i have never put a top under anything on purpose like as far as like not changing clothes this is another example of a compression top guys this is my hooters uniform for military tuesdays i don't even know if they do that anymore but it's an extra small hooters uniforms only go up to a medium because the the clothing is very tight so this is an extra small and i probably could fit a regular small now i feel like the regular small is still too big for me which is crazy because a small was too big so i had to go into a um extra small but like these top these tops are super 
you feel me like look at all the stretching that and this is an extra small and i'm not stretching the shirt out like at all like it's fighting me back um if you have been on my facebook not my facebook my instagram or my snapchat you know that i have talked about these tops in the past where i was in the wrong size shirt and i could barely breathe then and i got in the right size shirt and i was like sucked up um it's made like that on purpose these tops that are like like this i think this is a better example of a compression top um it is meant to hold you in and it is also meant to be the look because these used to shrink us and like give us a, some of us it gave us figures but this used to shrink us and like give us a figure because of how intense the stretch is in these tops so um i think in terms of like a good compression top you may want to look for something that's over 3% spandex, maybe something that's closer to 10% spandex because that makes a difference. Um, this one, yeah, this is a 10% spandex shirt. So 10% and up is really going to snatch you. Like anything more than 10% is going to temper, well, not anything more, but definitely 10% and up. That's what you want to be looking for if you want something that's going to shape you that you can wear as a body shaper. Not body shaper, as shapewear, because body shapers are different. Um, so yeah, those are my compression tops. Now I'm going to get into, I have like one more piece of shapewear and then the rest of it is a body shaper. So this is a, another shapewear situation. It is a like bra list. Um, what do you even call this? It's like shorts, but it has the tummy control stuff. Okay, so I got this from Swankaposh. Um, I cannot, it is a medium large though, I will say that. So this, this is the medium large and I got it in the color tan because it's tan. Um, but I did get this from Swankaposh on, not on Instagram, but they have two stores, but I found this on Instagram. So this is shapewear. It's completely seamless which means there are no outward facing seams you can wear under stuff it holds you in crazy okay um and it's got that tummy control thing in the front so like let me flip this inside out so y'all can see what's going on so this material right here is like super thick okay it's super thick and it's super tight this is going to snatch you up Say it with me, snatch you up, okay? This is going to snatch you up. Like I said, this is a medium large. This is going to snatch you up, okay? It is like, um, it comes like under your boobs. So it is braless, but it does have these hooks in here for folks who maybe have like compression bras or some other type of shapewear that you want to hook to the front. What well, has that one hook in the middle for that? And then it has these adjustable straps that go over your shoulder. So that's how you hold it up. But you could also, it also has the like gel inside thing, this little non-slip situation. So it's not supposed to roll down either. So you might could get away with um, not having the straps on it if you don't want to because the straps are removable. But this right here, I'm, it also has like the cutout part for the butt, so like no pressure on the butt, right? Just all pressure on the thighs and the in the stomach to give you that, you know, to give you that extra bonk that I don't Um, this is not one of my favorite pieces of shapewear. Let me be completely transparent. I think I'm not a shaper girl because I don't like being uncomfortable. <laughs> this is definitely for the people who are committed to shapewear. I will say one cool thing about shapewear and some body shapers though. Like, if you are trying to lose weight, shapewear, like, wearing shapewear every day is good for that. Like, if you wear shapewear every day for, like, two weeks, you will lose weight because you will not be eating as much. You will be eating exactly what your body needs. You will not overeat in shapewear, which I think is one of the reasons why I like shapewear on the other side because I'm not going to overeat because I'm not going to force myself to, you know finish my plate so the next thing i'm going to get into so all the next things i'm going to get into is shapewear i mean not shapewear there are body shapers so to me the difference between shapewear and body shapers is shapewear you can wear under your clothes or you can wear as clothes body shapers are you can wear them under your clothes but they are for like long-term use like to actually shape your body differently like they're constructed way more different and I think that they are meant to be worn for 
intervals because I feel like you can wear shapewear like all day, but it's you know it's not tough enough to. But with body shapers, you I feel like you're supposed to wear them between five and eight hours at a time for results. And I usually wear my body shapers at night if I wear one, like I'll sleep in it, but. I probably really should be wearing a body shaper during the day because that's when I'm doing like all my eating and moving around and stuff. So I'm going to pop out my body shapers and let's talk about them. My first body shaper, of course, is a Faja. And this is a, a new Faja. I got this Faja in somewhere over the summer last year. So this is a uh, snatch body faja. It's a true custom Colombian faja. It is. I decided to opt in for a stage two faja instead of getting a um, stage three, which is like post op, like post post op faja. For that's the one that you're supposed to wear for like long term after you have your surgery. I decided to get this one because I don't know. This is just the one I wanted. I guess I think I wanted some more like structure. But it does have the non-slip on the thighs. It is the short version. It's not the biker short version, though. It's just like regular shorts. It is the short version. I have three rows of hooks right here that are all reinforced. This is a size large. My first Faja was a 2X. And my second Faja that I have right here, I'm going to show you guys later. No, this is my surgery Faja. Yeah, my surgery Faja was a 2X. And then I believe my second Faja was an extra large or a 2X. I'm not really sure. Anyways, so this is this Faja. I like this Faja so much. It's padded. It's First of all, it's a full body Faja. I got it with the boob part because just like how I put my deposit down for my BBL, I wasn't really serious about getting my butt done until I started buying stuff for surgery. And then I was like, you just bought all this stuff. What are you going to do with it? I'm, I guess I'm going to take it to Miami. I don't know. So I did get the the part with the um, the bra in it well, that covers the surgery bra. It has It's like non-restrictive because for obvious reasons. Um, but this is a really good Faja, especially for a large. It does suck me in. I can hook myself all the way to the third row. So um, I probably, and honestly, I probably could have got an extra large. I wouldn't quite say I would I would get a medium because I just don't think my butt would fit in the medium. So I think a large is as, is as small as I can go. But I have worn this underclothes. I don't wear it underclothes now, but I have worn it underclothes. Um, usually I wear this in the house when I know I'm not doing nothing or going nowhere. Not because I don't like wearing my fajas in public, but because it's just so much trouble getting this thing on and off. I'm not one of those girls that has massive designs. At peeing out of the hole on the faja, like I have not been able to do that. Um, but I will take it all the way off <laughs> and put it back on, so that's why I more so like to wear my fajas at home, at home, so like I don't have to worry about that type of stuff in public. But, um, and it does zip underneath the bottom, the hole, everything unzips, so technically you can pee and poop because the whole bottom part comes out but yeah 10 out of 10 I think I pay like 120 130 bucks for this I highly recommend body snatchers I'm not getting paid by none of these these brands but I highly recommend body snatchers if you're looking for a body shaper um I have not been to the gym in this or anything like that, but the material is breathable. 10 out of 10 for body snatchers, like true Colombian Faja. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is a waist cincher, okay? I have not been able to wear this waist cincher since 2021. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed. So the waist cincher is by a brand called Go Crazy Fitness. RIP to Raven. I'm almost sure you cannot get these body shapers anymore these waist cinchers but this is a really good waist cincher and it's not um you can find like you can find these type of waist cinchers though um like you can like get on amazon or whatever or find another oh my god y'all hear that truck outside or find another person that sells body shapewear or whatever but this waist cincher is the truth okay it doesn't stretch for real 
because it's meant to go inside. It's meant to tighten you up, okay? It's an extra small. The last time I tried to put this on, I was on the last hook, but at one point in time, I was able to get it all the way on the first hook. And I think something that I really like about it, there, I don't use this, so it's like covered in like lint and hair, like cat hair and stuff. So I'm sorry, it is wet, but I don't use it at all. Like I don't use this at all. Um, but it does have the like the reinforcement straps, so you can hook all your rows here and then come back and hook all your rows right here. I like this waist cinch because I started using this um, when I was transitioning out of my my post op my my post op my two my second phase saw I started using this to help with my back pain and it worked wonders but I have not been able to use it since then um but this is definitely an investment piece I pay like maybe 70 or 80 bucks for this and similar ones are going for around the same prices online but this is a really nice body shaper um, because it is the course, like it's a waist cincher because it is corset style. You can wear it under your clothes. Now, do you want to commit to being in this all day? Like if you're at work or something, I don't know. I have done it before. Super uncomfortable. Again, um, I, my result for the, not result, but what I result to with these is sleeping in them at night because that's when they are the least uncomfortable for me. Or that's just when I'm not, I'm not thinking about my shapewear at night. I'm just sleeping, but if you can handle it, baby, go ahead. But that thing is tight, okay? But also, it's like one of my favorites, like, hands down. If I ever get that small again, I'm throwing it in the washer, and I'm, I'm bringing it out of retirement for sure. The next thing I have is an ad board, and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Why do you, why would I, someone who hasn't had any type of surgery, get an ad board? Um, let me tell you what the girl's been doing these days, and it kind of works. Putting, wearing like a, a waistband, like a, a waist cincher, and putting it at, and this ad board is, is freaking huge, so I wouldn't get an ad board that's this big. But, um, and I gotta turn it to the wrong side because the cushions, right? But this has been huge in shapewear lately, so it will embody shaping. You can wear an ad board under a belt or under a waist cincher and essentially get the same effect of like smoothing your stomach while you're losing weight or smoothing your stomach while you're compressing as someone who has had liposuction done because that's basically all we're doing is just smoothing our tummy down. Um, so there are a lot of companies that are starting to sell packages where they sell waistbands and ad boards to go together so you can get your little snatch band and snatch board. I was skeptical at first until i started doing it myself and i kind of like it um it is also bearable during the day it's bearable during the day so yes it's this is just a real quick drop in get you a little ad board baby you can get these on amazon for like less than 15 dollars sometimes they come in packs with the ab and backboards because usually you get both um but you can get one or the other they do come in a bunch of different sizes so this is a really big one. I know there's one that's like half the size of this that just focuses sh like straight like just on your abs and the two feet like these wings on the side are way smaller. But yes, get you an ab board. So speaking of belts, we are going to talk about the Waist Snatchers waistband. Okay, so this is just the one that I have. I'm also an affiliate with Waist Snatchers. There is a link in the description for a discount if you would like to buy something from Waist Snatchers, okay? Um, but this is the Snatch Band. So this is the one of the more popular ones. Y'all have probably seen them everywhere. Um, no, I'm not getting paid to mention Waist Snatchers, but if you buy something, I will get paid. Does that make sense? Um, so this is the Snatch Band. Same concept as the other Waist Center where you wrap it around. It's, I'm sorry, it's loud where you wrap it around like this and then you have these two pieces on the side that come and they'll curl you in the middle to just add that extra i guess hourglass shapeness to your shape shapeness to your shape that makes no sense but to add that extra hourglass figure to you while you have this on these are one of those things you have to wear for a long period of time throughout the day not long periods of times i'd say intervals 
Um, so yeah, you wear them interview intervals throughout the day, um, maybe eight hours at a time if you can do that. Some people say wearing for twelve hours at a time. I ain't that type of girl. But this is also a really good investment if you want something that's um like soft fabric. Cause the other one is like my other waist injury is like rubber, like it is spandex. <laughs> But if you want a fabric-based waist snatcher with Velcro so there's no metal poking you nowhere, um, you can get these. These are gym-friendly. These are actually meant for you to go to the gym in, and they're actually made for you to um, wear for long periods of time. They have, like, that dry material on the inside, so, like, you can sweat in it, but it won't hold the sweat. Um, well, you won't be wet in it, per se. Um, so, yeah. I like this one. I don't wear it as much. This is something that you wear over your clothes um, for folks who have never had surgery before. When you wear your fajas and say you have to put bone bones, boards and foams in, you're supposed the smart thing to do is to wear a tank top underneath it, then put everything on, and then put your faja on to finish it up. I'm sorry, I'm looking for words. Same thing with the waist snatcher. This is good. You can wear this on top of your clothes. So you can run errands in this. You can go to work in it if you want to. If you don't have like a uniform or something like that. Um, you can wear it on top of your clothes. And boom. Like that's you for today. Or that's you for how many hours you want to wear. You can wear it only when you eat in to make sure you're not eating too much. Like you can only you can wear it when you work out. If that's how you want to contour your body. But this is a really good... Um, waistband and I'm not just saying that because I am an affiliate it's one of my it's one of my favorite ones because of the extra support that it offers with the second band um and yeah I like this one and I like bands like this if that makes sense so you don't have to get this band from this brand but there are a lot of body cinchers or waist cinchers that are like this one so the next thing I'm going to talk about, I am not going to, I don't physically have it with me right now, but I'm going to post my TikTok of me putting it on, and that is also from Waist Snatchers. It is the Snatch Band, but like everybody has their own version of this band. You can get it from anywhere, literally anywhere. Um, and I like it. It is considered a body shaper, but um, you can wear it under your clothes if you want to because of how the material is made. It does slim you down like instantly. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It looks complicated to put on, but it's really not. It takes like less than like 30 seconds to put this on. And um, you can adjust how tight you want the band to be. And it does like go seamlessly under your clothes. So like you can wear it with like maybe something a little bit tighter if you wanted to. Preferably how it is in my TikTok, I like to wear it when I'm in my lounge clothes because I just feel like that's when I want to look the most snatched is when I'm lounging. I have no idea what that's about, but that's how I feel. <laughs> so that's usually when I wear it. Um, so yes, 10 out of 10. I like it. It is called the Snatch Band. Um, if you want to get it through Waist Snatchers, just type in Snatch Band in the search box and it'll pop right up. Um, so those two things are, I think the Snatch Band is like, mm, $40 maybe, I'm not 100% sure, and the, the, the big way Snatch Band, the yellow one that I just showed you all, I think it's somewhere between 65 to $80, I'm also not sure again, or it could be like $35, I have no idea, there's a sale going on, there's always a sale going on, I don't know, and it comes in a lot, a lot, a lot of colors. If y'all been seeing them online, I know that like Arrogant Tay has like a black one with the with the double band on it. All right, the Dunn has some in a whole bunch of colors as well as uh, Jada. She has some in a bunch of different colors. My voice sounds like this now because I just choked on air. Oh my God, I'm trying to come back. Those are all of my pieces. Please let me know if you have any questions. Leave comments down below. If you are wanting to get into shapewear and body shapers, we can explore that together, baby. I will help you. Um, so, yeah. So, with that being said, this is the end of my video. This is your second reminder to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post on this channel. Follow me on all forms of social media at Hannah Burnell W. Oh, my gosh. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.